Hi, it's uh, Slavik with iDrinkCoffee.com. Uh, today I'd like to show you a unique way of brewing coffee. Uh, it's a method that's been around for a long time, the vacuum pot. Uh, although recently it's gained some popularity once again, and uh, you know some people uh, have never seen one in action, and it really is quite something to watch. Uh, so a vacuum pot uh, consists of uh, two glass uh, bulbs. Uh, in the bottom one, which is this one right here, uh, I have my water, which I've, uh, I've already put in. And the top bulb is where the coffee goes. So I'll grind my coffee. Now for a vacuum pot, you use a coarse grind like you would for a French press, a very coarse grind. And I'm using a, a Bratz Averio grinder here, which has been preset. I'm going to use around 30 grams of coffee for 750 milliliters of water. That's about 10 grams per 250 milliliters of coffee. So my grind is set. I'll put the grounds into this top container. Then I attach the top part into the bottom, making sure I have a seal. There's a rubber kind of gasket there, make sure it's nice and snug. And I'm going to place it onto a burner. Here I have a, a, a gas stove, and you put it on high. Just that coffee so it's nice and even. And the process will begin. Now, the way this works is uh, the water from the bottom uh, begins to boil and will pass through into the top, uh, wet, wetting uh, and infusing the grinds. And uh, afterwards, a vacuum is created in the bottom ball. Uh, after all the water is gone, because of the heat, a vacuum is created. And we'll take, at that point, we'll take it off the burner, uh, put it onto a cold surface, and uh, the coffee will come back down and, you know, we'll be ready to drink it. As you can see now from up close, uh, the water is uh, beginning to, uh, you know, to get warm and boil. Uh, you can see the, the grind starting to swell up a little bit because the water is passing up into the uh, uh, upper globe. I'm going to put the lid on because I forgot to do that earlier. Uh, that just goes on top there. And uh, the entire process takes about, uh, about seven minutes, just as long as it takes for, uh, you know, for that, that amount, 750 milliliters of water to boil. You can see here the water, uh, the vapor is beginning to transfer into the upper globe. Uh, the coffee slowly beginning to infuse. Uh, soon it will begin boiling. This rate will, will be faster. Uh, the speed will increase and all of the water uh, will transfer to the upper globe. Now you can really see the water is boiling. Uh, we'll allow this to happen for about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on you know uh, if you like your coffee stronger or weaker. Uh, I'll let it happen for probably about, about 30 to 45 seconds. Uh, and all of the water is now transferred to the upper globe. And, um, and after, after this is done, we're going to put it onto a cold surface. At home, you can put it onto a cold burner, a uh, burner that hasn't been on. Here, I'm going to put it just onto a, 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 a rubber tamping pad. So I'm just going to take this off now, put it onto a cold surface. I'm going to turn my burner off. And now we'll see the vacuum get created and the coffee get sucked back into the uh, bottom globe.
quite a nice and unique way of making coffee. The end result is a very clean cup, very smooth. Uh, I find that vacuum pots bring out the sweetness of coffee uh, more uh, than other brewing methods. Um, for uh, people who uh, don't like sediment in their cups uh, that you sometimes get with a French press, a vacuum is a, a good alternative because the coffee, like I said, is, uh, yields a, a fairly clean cup. Uh, and, it, I mean, it's uh, really nice to look at if you have company over. It's a, uh, a, a fun way of, of making coffee. We're just going to wait for that uh, bottom globe to fill up with coffee, and then, uh, and then we can serve. And now that we're done, what I'll do is I'll just remove the top uh, globe. You have to be careful because it's a little hot. Let that excess coffee just come out and put it into the provided stand. And serve. Get a hot, very hot, and flavorful cup of coffee. The Bodum Santos is available at idrinkcoffee.com. If you have any questions, feel free to contact either myself or one of my colleagues, and we'll be happy to answer them. Thanks. We'll see you soon. I'm Slavic with idrinkcoffee.com.